This is the first day in Uzbekistan on my low-budget trip. You'll meet my great couchsurfing host and learn how the traditional Uzbek plov is cooked. Let's go! I came to Uzbekistan by bus from Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan via Kazakhstan. I passed the passport control at Uzbekistan land border quite fast and then waited for my bus to get clear at the customs. The first thing that I did at the border is I bought a SIM card. I was going to stay in the country for a while, so in this case it's good to buy a local number and always have internet connection. It is usually much cheaper than roaming. I exchanged some Uzbekistani songs to make sure I have cash with me, as in many places cards are not accepted here. Then I got a sausage in dough as I got hungry, and they were also selling the great Uzbek bread at the border. I waited for two and a half hours, but our bus still didn't arrive. Then some taxi drivers told me that sometimes it can take up to 10 hours, so it's better not to wait. Tashkent is not far from the border, only 40 minutes drive, and there are cheap public buses going to the city center. On the bus from Bishkek, I got acquainted with a very nice guy Sanjar, that was living in Tashkent. And we went to the city together by the public bus. And then I experienced Uzbek kindness for the first time. When we arrived at the city center, I needed to take another bus to go to the place where I was going to stay, but that bus left just before we arrived. Sanjar called a taxi. I thought we would go together, but he helped me with my bags and sent me separately, saying that he lives in another part of the city. And then turned out that he paid for the taxi. It was charged in his taxi application. And this is the man that I just met. I didn't expect that, it was really nice and kind of him. I agreed with the couchsurfing host that I would stay at his place for two days. If you are not familiar with this application, this is a free hospitality platform. When traveling, you can stay with members of Couchsurfing community and you do not pay for your stay. It's 100% free. So this is a great help if you are traveling on a low budget. This time I was staying with an amazing host originally from Iran and he allocated this nice room for me. So let's meet him. My name is Hussein. I'm from Iran. And I came in Uzbekistan about 11 years ago. I work in IT field and I have my own, own company. I work in artificial intelligence and Internet of Things. And so. The first thing Hussein did is he brought me to a famous place in Tashkent to try the delicious Uzbek plov. But I didn't go to the salon. I didn't make up. I you didn't. look perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so here, as you see, they have only plov, two mm -hmm. kinds of plov. One is a wedding plov and second is chai khana. Let's see. <laughs> In Uzbek language, plov calls osh. Mm -hmm. Osh. Yes, so yeah. it's difficult for me to say plov. I prefer mm -hmm. to say osh. <laughs> so on the right side is the kitchen, so we go to the kitchen to see how we cook. Lunch time here is start from 1 to 2. So many people, when they are working, they leave their job about 1 o'clock and they come here. Let's go to the business. <laughs> so there are pots and they just cook with the wood. No mm -hmm. gas, no electricity, nothing. Just with the wood, the traditional way. So let's see. First of all, they, add, they, they put oil. When the, the oil is boiling, they add the meat, mm -hmm. as you see. So we are right in time. That's huge. Carrot and they, uh, they add the resin mm -hmm. and some bean, like this. Yes. This beans, resin, mm. and the carrot, you can see the carrot. As I say here, it's the carrot. Ah, these are yellow carrots. Yes, they have the yellow and the orange one. So this is a carrot, they add. 
give us some water. It's the final step. You come back here. Yeah. yeah. As you remember, I told you when the, the meat mm -hmm. boiled and fried, they add this carrot, raisin, mm -hmm. and everything. And with the rice. add the rice and they put some kind of uh, steel plate on it mm -hmm. to being soft yes. they chopping the meat uh -huh. they put, and they bring uh, they, they put the rice and everything and they add the meat and based on how do you order, they can add this kind of donut uh, and also this kind of eggs and you know this horse meat. Yeah, like kazi. Kazi is exactly. They also cook delicious bread. So we ordered plov and some salads. And I can tell you that really this is one of the most delicious things that I ate in my life. This plov tasted just fabulous. So you should definitely come to Tashkent to try the plov here. And Hussein said that I was his guest and didn't let me pay for the food. Then I went home to sleep for a couple of hours as I couldn't sleep on the bus that night. There are a few major points that I like in the coach serving community. The first thing is you can meet a lot of people and you can listen to their story and they are from all around the world so you can meet different culture at your home. And the second thing that it's based on my culture from Iran, we love to help people. We love to have guests. So when we have guests at our home, it means that it's fortune for us. So I like this also too much. In the evening, Hossein offered me to join a meeting with his friends in a restaurant where they like going in Tashkent. And it was really a great time. The food was tasty, his friends were friendly, and there was a dancing program there. So I can say that I had the great first impression of Uzbekistan, of course mainly because of the people I met there. I love this country too much uh, because uh, I told you th these people are very kind, very nice and you, you feel safe in this country. They don't uh, treat with you because of your nation or your skin color or hair color or eye color. I like. So here also they are, they love guests, the people in Uzbekistan. So they don't mind where are you from. 
even if they cannot speak your language, even they cannot speak English. If you see someone in the street, if they feel that you are in problem, they try to help you and they do their best.